Initial progress in making the magical blooms to clear the taint have come to a halt. I must create more Sano. The healing essentia goes into giving the plant its magical power to heal the land. I was trying to brew potions that heal me, thinking that this was the only source of Sano, but to my surprise, Mother's Milk contains a good source. Once again, the power of nature came through for me where magic had been unable to get simple, quick results. I made a use of alchemy to take the milk and created a machine to turn it into Sano very quickly and without any harm to the cow. Now then, welcome back to another episode of A Druid's Tale. And it's a big one today. It's episode 50, yes. And it's the part, second part of a double bill, as it were. Uh, last episode, we removed all the taint. And uh, I promised you a second episode today, and here we are. We're back over at the tainted area, the tainted biome, to have a look to see what these blooms are doing, these ethereal blooms. And I think that this first one is already having an effect around here, because we placed these right next to tainted areas. Uh, we've got a few comments from the last episode that have already been uh, well received. Thank you very much. Uh, what was the first one? The first one is from Robert Sandell, who says, to conserve resources, uh, place one bloom per chunk. So that sounds like a good idea, placing one bloom per chunk. So we've got a chunk border just here, and I've got two in this chunk. So actually I'm producing these ethereal blooms, and they should clear up a full chunk. So I'll move those around. The next ones I get, I'll put in chunks. And slowly but surely, we'll do it a chunk at a time to reduce the taint all around. So thank you for that. Uh, another one was from my uh, supporters club member, uh, Voidable C. And he has put down, or she has put down, I think it's possibly a he, Voidable. I don't know. <laughs> Tell me in the comments who you're, he or she. Uh, Voidable has put down that cake and milk is a good source of Sano. So today I wanted to have a, an experiment with that. So for starters, we need milk from a cow. So come here, cow. Thank you. That's that started. I got a rancher to um, farm the milk off the cow and hopefully use it. And I also need some chickens, really. So I'm going to have a quick hunt around the outskirts of my base for a chicken or two. I, uh, I can't remember seeing any, like, large concentrations of chickens anywhere. Sheep and cows, yes. Pigs, yes. Chickens, not so much. But I have got a small supply of eggs that I have picked up uh, just randomly while wandering about places. Uh, I can't hear or see any chickens, though. I'm also keeping an eye on my mini-map to see if there's anything around there. Uh, I suppose I could throw a load of eggs and try the best there, or create a spawn egg or something like that. But still, there's not a lot of choice other than to wander around and hope for the best. Uh, as you can see, my tree farm, I've turned it off for now. Uh, it, was, it ran out of fertilizer, so I turned it off because I've got a ton of wood and a load of charcoal. So I don't need it for its purpose at the minute, so I've turned it off just to ease things a little. Um, I still haven't done anything with the elephants. I'll do something with the elephants eventually. I just want to find a chicken or two. A chicken or two would be nice. And I can't see any anywhere. So I might have to do a bit more searching for those. We have got enough to make uh, cake to start off with anyway. We've got enough to get us going with cake. And if I encounter some chickens, then I'll bring them back and make a, a little egg farm from the chickens. So i've got a few other bits and pieces that i want to check out but first we need to make the first cake that would be an ideal so cake is sugar and wheat and also oh actually wheat i could go over there for wheat oh let me get back on rick hey rick come back come back come back come back, come back. Uh, i can i can get wheat from this farm down here that i started I'd never finished this farm because it was starting to get annoying, right? This farm kind of looks okay, yeah? But you have to use crops. So it was getting annoying how I had to plant it. Uh, I wasn't I wasn't thrilled with how I had to plant it. Hey, how did you get here? Didn't think you were that close. Uh, let's get nine. That'll do. That gives us two. 
Let's do that. And we've got a cow, so we'll set up a little cow spawn area. A little cow area. Uh, I think I'm just going to set something up right here for now. I want a testing area. I want some place to test things out. So let's have a rancher. And uh, we'll just put... Well, I think we could probably just put a pen like this. And the rancher will still harvest from inside there. So let's put our cow in there. Uh, boom. There you go. Angry cow. Angry cow is angry. Yep. I'm not going to use it because it's got thorns on it. And I'll put a chest there. And inside the chest, I'm going to put some of that. And can I put a bucket in you? And you will you will do that thing. I also put some solar panels. I thought I'd try using solar panels energy to make this work. Is it going to get some power? Yes, it's getting some power. Is it getting power off the top one or the side? Oh, man. Give me that. Is it getting power off the top one or the side ones? Let's have a look. Is it getting power off the side ones? Yes, it's getting power off the side ones. Okay. Put one on the top as well then. I brought an extra one because I didn't know where I was going to lay it out exactly. Um, but there we go. Okay, so it's got power. It's picking up milk. How do I get the milk out of the rancher? I don't know. Aha, there it is. It's making... It's using the buckets up to make milk. And it's putting the milk in the back here. Okay, so there we've got eggs, milk. So we just need a bit of sugar. And I do have quite a large amount of sugar. Or at least I have a large amount of sugar cane. Which I can pick up from down uh, here. Come here. Just stand there for a minute, Rick. Thank you. Get a load of this. I will automate this a bit better once I've made the first one. I just want to check that a cake is actually going to give me Sano before I start. I've already scanned a milk bucket, so I know milk buckets do it. But I want to check a, a cake as well. And I want to just have a theory, a theory crafting day, as it were. Just want to test out the theories of it all. Right, sugar in there. There we go. And next up, I need a crafting frame. Ah, oh, Rick, you'll be quicker. I fly everywhere now. I, don't, I need to actually have the ability to fly myself, I think. These chocobo are awesome. And they get me around really super fast. But I keep uh, I keep running around all the time. Have I got a crafting frame in there? No. I know I've got super crafting frames somewhere. I can't remember where I put them, though. Uh, no. No. Mm -hmm. um, let's just make another one. I can't remember where it is. Let's see. Uh, frame. So a super crafting frame is that. Which is sticks around a crafting table. Okay. I've got a crafting table. And I should be able to find some sticks around here. Let's get those. There we go. Uh, no. Mm, yep. There we go. I'm filling up all these uh, crafting benches. Slowly but surely around my workshop. It's, uh, it's good because I get to do all sorts of cool things with them. But it's also annoying because I come to one and I haven't done anything. I'm used to having like a, an applied energistic system where you've got one crafting table and all of your stock attached to that crafting table. And uh, yeah, it just makes life so much easier. But that is not what we've got here in a Druid's Tale. So let's see. We need eggs, flour, milk... And sugar. So, give me, give me, give me this. Thank you. Okay, so cake. I think I know the recipe. I think I know the recipe of cake. Uh, let's put that into there. There we go. It's got cake. And we'll put all of this in there, out the way. So at the minute, I'm going to have to restock these things as I go. But there we go. I get cake automatically from that without having to do all the crafting. Which is good. And I've got to put the buckets back in there. Which is a bit of a pain. But still. We're okay with that. Uh, we're going to get plenty of buckets in there. And I can add the wheat and the eggs and the sugar. And all that kind of stuff for now. This is just <coughs> a testing session. This is just a testing session. So next up. I need to alchemical furnace some stuff. Uh, actually. First up. I need to scan the cake. And the cake gives me not Sano. The cake does not give me Sano. 
Okay, but the milk gave me Sano. Uh, let's get milk out of here. Yeah, the milk gives me Sano. The cake just gives me the life. So milk on its own is what I need to deal with, really. So I don't actually need the cake side of things. That's okay. I'm okay with that. So we'll scrap the cake idea and we'll go straight for Sano. So, <laughs> well, I've got a cake now. So milk bucket straight from the cow into the alchemical furnace is the way to go. So let's get a milk bucket there and throw a couple of these on. Now I've got method for this, hopefully. So let's see, one milk bucket goes in there. Does it give me the milk bucket back? I hope it does, but I don't think it will. I think it'll get rid of the, yeah, it gets rid of the bucket as well, which is why I get metal in there. Famas, aqua, famas, mm-hmm. Okay, well, I've got some jars that I can void things off with. I've got some jars that I can void things off with. Uh, the Famas, I don't really want. The Aqua, yeah, I can do with the Aqua because I can fill up things over there with Aqua. So that's okay. The Famas, and then we've got some other bits and pieces and still none of the actual one that I want. So let's let's clean it out first. Let's, let's clean out the ones that we don't want and make sure we get the one that we do want, Famas. I know it's a waste, but it's free milk at the end of the day. It's only going to cost me the price of a bucket. And be gone, and be gone, and be gone. Oh, man. Oh, it's up there. Uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's uh, potentially a good thing having it up there, actually. Let's put that on. Put the sticker on there. That will then mean that that is the only thing that can go into there, so everything else goes into here, right? The metalum I need to extract and put into jars because I want to keep that. So we'll take that this way a little. And we'll put that into a jar. Because I would like to be able to make the iron back from the uh, metalum. I would like to be able to. That's all that gone. Okay. Give me that back. Thank you. Okay. And then the Sanos itself. Let's have that coming out. Well, we have it coming out the back for now. I know this is where I got my Batania flowers. But I do plan on moving all of this eventually anyway. So let's have that, and we don't want a voidable jar, we want a normal jar just there for the Sanos. There we go. Okay, so there's a source of Sanos there. Now, if I put a milk bucket in there again, I'm losing the iron again. That's the problem. The issue is the iron loss at the minute. But if I can figure out a way of uh, doing some alchemical processing to get the metalum back into being... Um, uh, metal, <laughs> the iron, then I'll be good. All right, so we've got FAMAS. Now, I was thinking of using this alchemical centrifuge to get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, do I have any more pipes? Please tell me I've got some more pipes. I got no pipes. I got no more pipes. I need more pipes. Dang it. I need more pipes. Oh. Um. Maybe I've made these too far. Let's take you and put you there and take you off thank you and let's take you and put you there and take you off there we go all right so we've got up to four in it and the milk gave me two yeah so every milk bucket gives me two that puts four in the back there that's good and i've got metal i'm going out that side that way i could have something else going out the side this way but what I want to do is set up uh, an alchemical centrifuge on top here. So that the byproducts, the stuff that we want to get rid of, goes up into that way. So, if that's the case, that's now made that type from the FAMAS. And that will not go that way. I don't know if it will stay not going that way or not. Uh, can I put another jar on the end here will that pull from here 
No, because that's got the better suction. That's got the better pull. Okay. So we need to figure on that then. I could potentially bring out and have this on another one above to take it out that way. But I'd like the metalum and that to go upwards that way. And then I can... Um, I need a blocks. I need blocks. There's blocks. I would like to have it so that I've got the multiple things going off here and out. Uh, actually, we're supposed to have one of these essence essential buffers up there, aren't we? Where it can hold different kinds of essentia. And yeah, those essentia actually need to be re revamped, don't they? They need to be redone in other places. But let's see if we can do something along these lines. Put a void jar on each of those. So that then takes that stuff, which I don't actually want. Don't want. But that's taking it. That's okay. <laughs> I clearly I've got no idea what I'm doing. I've got a I've got a brainstorming session planned. I've got an idea of what I want to achieve, but I haven't got any idea of what I'm doing exactly. I do want to kind of loop back in some of the stuff that's no good to me. Uh, so maybe that needs to stay looped that way and have the final raw materials coming this way. So, for instance, this metalum isn't something I want. I want the metalum to go... Oh, actually, no, I do want the metalum, don't I? I do want metalum to come out that way. I want metalum to get sucked out that way. That will not go into there. Okay. That's fine. But if I put a jar down there, is it going to pull out that way? Or is it going to get sucked that way? It's going to get pulled out. It's not going to get sucked out that way at all, is it? Okay. So I need some more pipes. This is going to be very, very awkward to dispose of. Let's just get rid of that for now. So the metal does go that way. That should go that way. Should go that way. Why is it not going that way anymore? Is it getting a pull from something else? Wow, these pipes. They are very, very complicated pipes, aren't they? Don't make it easy. What's that? Aqua Essentia. Contains Aqua Essentia. Okay, can you put the aqua center in the bottle then, please? No? Do I have to disconnect you between each go? If I disconnect that, will it then put the aqua in there? Yes, it will. Okay. But then it takes it up and out and into that. I see what it's trying to do. Okay. It's trying to take the aqua up there to put it into the machine, but it can't put it in the machine because... It's the final raw material. Okay. All right. Let me think about this some more. Okay, then. I think I've got it set. And I just fell down a hole. Good start there. Good start. I just have... <laughs> I've made this milking machine. <laughs> a Thorncraft milking machine. <laughs> it's simple enough, I suppose, right? I've put some buckets in here. I've got a couple of spare milk buckets in there as well. Though I'm trying to transfer over when I run out of buckets. I've got some spares. Uh, but it's basically costing me iron to make sanol. Instead of gold to make golden apples to make sanol. Um, I think that's slightly cheaper. I am voiding off my metalum at the minute though. Which I want to use with alchemy to make more iron in the future. But that's not what this episode is all about. So I just want to leave it there for this episode. That's the bit of Thorncraft for this episode. Uh, we've got the rancher is taking milk straight from the cow and putting it into buckets and passing the bucket out to the inventory behind it. The inventory behind it is obviously this and it's melting the bucket and the milk down into its essentia. The essentia is then going up into the alembics. The metalum is being pulled out first. I think that's being pulled out first. Anyway, I, I don't see any problem with it. It's got a suction of metalum straight out of there, whereas this has got an untyped suction. And I don't know why it alters. It, it alters slightly. 
I don't know why that does that, but we'll see. We'll find out in the future. I was just tapping all of these pipes to try and figure out where things are going. So anything that isn't metalum uh, and or aqua, aqua is coming into here. I'll put void jars on because, well, I want it to keep running for now. Um, aqua is coming into here, out of the first slot, as it were. And Sano is coming out of there from that first slot there. Thank you, cow. You are going to die, I tell you. You're going to die because I've got thorns on. And that's the thing I've got to consider when I'm moving this contraption somewhere else. Uh, but I do have 64 Sano already. And that's good, right? Everything else goes into the Alembic up at the top, gets pulled out, goes down underneath, and gets put into the centrifuge. The centrifuge then centrifuges it into its core component, which is air... Um, Victus, Pedicio, and Vacus. Uh, I did try an idea to put the Vacus back underneath to get the primordial, uh, the primal essences out, or the Essentia out, and try and get the Victus back in there. That was an idea. But that wasn't working. It was blocking up the suction. So what I'm going to have to do is take this sort of stuff out and put it somewhere else and do something else with it in the future. Having a supply of it's pretty good, though, because I might need it for something else. Uh, the air and the Pedicio, obviously, I use quite a lot, but the Vacus and the Victus I possibly will use, but maybe not so much. And we've got a Blood Moon on the Raz, so I'm going to stay safe up here while the Blood Moon's rising and try and convert some of these guys into um, more ethereal blooms and go and take them out and get rid of them. Okay, under this Blood Red Moon, I am being invaded invaded by a werewolf and some creepers and some skeletons and all that started building a structure up there and I forgot to light the edges and now I'm taking uh, taking a hit from the blood red moon dang it I've been sleeping through the night so it hasn't been a problem but now I'm facing the beasts of the apocalypse the werewolves of coming to slay me but no I will fight it I will beat it I will smash it up ah it's getting some good hits on me. There we go, we got it. Now you can die as well. Wow. Okay. And I've got creepers over by all me uh, cow farm stuff. I've got creepers over here, so I need to get rid of the creepers. I need to drag them this way a little bit. And sort them out. No, you don't. Down. Right. And I need to get them away from Rick. They're pushing Rick towards me. Come on. Come on, creepers. Get away from Rick. Get away. Get away. There's so many mobs here. Surprising. Whoa. They didn't do any damage to the land. Maybe that's the thing that's on this uh, mod pack. Maybe they don't do any damage to the land. Let's see. Uh, yeah, they didn't do any damage to the land. Okay. And Rick is unhealthy right now, but still. Come on, creeps. Get away from Rick. Get away. Come and get some over here. Because it doesn't destroy anything around it. That's okay with me. Oh, you're one of those you spawn skellies. No, 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 no. No! That one's in there. Throw it. Oh, I've got a golem thing in there. I might need to just back off and let them uh, raid my base. I'm being raided. I'm b having a raid. I am undergoing a blood red moon raid and they're raiding my base because I didn't light it properly. Oh, man. I've got a load of uh, load of bad guys over there, look. There's loads of them in there. They've probably pulled all my torches up as well. All it takes is one to pull all your torches out of the way, and then they start breaking everything, look. They've broken through the fences. They're invading. Oh, my days. No. No. No, no, no. No, no. No, I say, no. Get out of my house. This is my land. Get out of my land. Get off. And you. Give me my fences back. Get... Whoa. Spiders. Spiders. Spiders with zombie riders. Oh, my days. Okay. I don't know where to be. I don't know where the safest place to hang out is. I've got to hang out for the day. All of the mobs from over that side have despawned, though. That's a good thing. So this this entry point here... And they're coming for me. They're all in there coming for me. But luckily they've uh, despawned from over that side. They've taken another approach. This gate here. This entrance point. 
is where I must make my stand for the night and then repair the damage in the morning. You get get out of my base. It's my land. You are not apocalypsing over here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, he's throwing stuff now. Golem's gonna be throwing stuff. He's throwing grass blocks at me. Whoa! Okay. I don't want him wrecking the base. That's the problem with this sort of stuff. It, that's still an entity. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Shoot. He's throwing grass at me now. Wow. He is a long, long way away. And he's still throwing stuff at me. He's picking stuff up and throwing stuff at me all over the place. Man, oh man, oh man, do I have any torches on me? Uh, I don't have any torches left. Dang it. Do I have any torches in my pack? No. Oh, best eat. Keep them away. They've got a they've got a distance between them and me, which I have to use to my advantage to keep it as safe as I can. You will not pass. That's a phrase. Uh, oh, there's a creeper over there now. I need to get some coal. Let's get some coal out of here. I've got no coal left in there either. Oh my days. Oh my days. Okay. Well, Scythe, don't fail me now. You must enact justice upon these creatures of the night. We must kill them all. Oh, we've got one of those guys up there. I don't want him ripping up my Thorncraft stuff. He'll pick up blocks and throw them around all over the place. I do not want that. Slime up on the hill. See, the majority of my base is secure and nice and happy and fine. But there's those places, those entry points... That these uh, these mobs come in and they will wreck the job. They will wreck the place. There's a slime bouncing around down there. And there's... Oh, my days. They're invading me. They're trying to get to me before I can do the the blooms to clean up the taint. They are counter-attacking. That's what it is. They're counter-attacking me. They know I'm fighting against their cause. Ah, oh, they've broken a hole in the wall over there as well. That... Golem picks up blocks and he's breaking stuff. There's a baby one coming at me as well. There's so many bad guys. Whoa. He's a warded zombie. He's a warded zombie baby. He did not uh, did not like that though, did he? Let's see what treasure he had. Wee. Well, we've got some treasure there. We've got some bits and pieces. We've got an emerald on the floor. What's the golden helmet for? Uh, respiration projectile protection. I'll get rid of that. I don't care about that. Hey, zombie. Oh, man. The Blood Red Moon is on its way down, so we're getting closer to uh, cleaning up this place. And then they'll all despawn and disappear. And I can get back to putting my torches around the place to stop it happening again. But I know now that that area is a hot spot that I need to clear up and sort out. Because they are, they are wrecking the place. And they are trying to come and wreck my face. And I'm not going to let it happen. No. Be gone. Foul beasts. Beasts of war. Get out of it. Okay. We're okay over there for now. Sun's coming up. We should be able to finish up. Uh, anything over here that needs killing off? No. I need to light this structure. I was thinking... <laughs> let, me, let me get over here so that they're not spawning over here and they're despawning over there. Yeah, they're all despawning, which is a handy advantage knowing the mechanics of the game. And throw some of this in there and throw some of that in there. Get rid of that stuff. Okay. Right, I was trying to figure out a build around this place. Look at this. Look at how much stuff he's picked up and thrown out the window at me. God. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> I can fix it. I'm starting to build like a, a structure around here. What I want to do eventually is have the Essentia coming in through mirrors to it. So I don't need to have lots and lots of... Get out of my face. Lots and lots of um, jars everywhere doing the stuff. So that's the thing. And I was thinking of bringing the cow structure down here somewhere. The cow farm down here somewhere. To automate pumping up items to uh, jars up above. Um, I don't know how it's going to work yet, though. That's why I'm still sort of figuring it out. I'm trying to build structures like this 
in different places around here. So it's going to be more of a complex of structures rather than great big towers. Because I don't want to go too tall with it. Normally you get a wizard's tower. And a wizard's tower is pretty uber awesome. But I don't really want an uber awesome wizard's tower in my villa base. Maybe I'll do that somewhere else. I want some simple crafting areas around here. Just some simple places to be able to make items and make things as we need them. Uh, but that is all I've got time for. Thanks to the Blood Red Moon coming and giving me a, an invasion, a raiding. Um, I've got some fixing up to do. And this, this cow milking device to get the Sano seems to be working okay. Seems to be working fine. I do need to go and collect a load of taint, but that's not a problem. And then turn all of those into the ethereal blooms and go and set them out around and about the tainted areas. Hopefully, I can be successful in forcing back the apocalypse from this land. Getting rid of the war. The warriors, should I say. The warriors of the war side of the apocalypse. Getting rid of the taint of the pestilence side of the apocalypse. And, uh, well, keeping up with reducing the famine by making my farms extend further and further as I claim the land back from the other elements of war and pestilence. I will see you in the next episode of A Druid's Tale. Have a great weekend. Hopefully I'll have plenty more for you next week, and I will see you then. Goodbye. Goodbye.